SEO has been the number one growth channel for my business by far. It's what helped grow Landmark Labs from zero to 100,000 views per month. And the biggest factor for success here in SEO I found is just consistently publishing. Now, even though I know how important it is, this is something that I still struggle with. I've gone three months, four months without posting a single article. And that really has a negative effect on traffic and growth. I've also found that it's much easier to get into a posting and publishing schedule when I actually have a system in place, when I have my keywords researched, when I have a content pipeline, and I know that I'm already 20 or 30% of the way to publishing a new post. It's really when I have a blank page and I have nothing prepared that the task of researching and writing a whole new article is a bit daunting. So in this video, I'm just gonna share a system that I've developed and started using in Notion. It helps me with my keyword research, brainstorming article titles, drafting the content brief, and then using Notion AI to help me write the article content, repurposing that content, again, using Notion AI for LinkedIn and some other platforms, and then tracking the performance across different channels in Notion using Notion charts. So whether you're just starting to learn about SEO or if you're already implementing SEO as one of your marketing channels, in this video, I'm gonna be showing how you can build and set up a system in Notion to help you manage your SEO efforts. Let's take a look. So the content system that I use is actually part of our Business OS template. If you don't have Business OS, don't worry, I will be adding these Content Hub components into the Landmark Labs library and you'll be able to duplicate and use that for free and follow along with this video. But just be aware that this full system is called Business OS and that's what has all of these sections on the side here. And what I'll be sharing is just this content part for this video. So at the top we have our, we have some statistics broken down into charts. We have views by month by month. Then we also have a breakdown by channels. So our posts are going to be published across different channels, things like YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, and this is just gonna give us a breakdown of those statistics there. But what I wanna start with and probably focus on is the actual publishing and keyword research section for SEO in particular. Now for me, this process starts with keywords and keyword research, and for that I have this keywords table and database here. So we have the keyword itself, we have a topic, we have the estimated volume difficulty, and there's this little formula which is going to tell me a combination of enough volume and low difficulty is a low hanging fruit opportunity. So there's this little apple emoji that shows up. So those are the ones, those easy wins that I definitely want to be publishing for. So whenever I'm doing, filling out my research about different keywords, I'm also trying to make sure that I prioritize these specific keywords. And then I have this property here, which is going to help me kind of brainstorm and extend on a specific keyword topic. So for example, I have this Notion AI keyword. It's a very big keyword, 110,000 uh, search volume per month, but it's probably quite difficult. And so I can use this property here, just click update, and it's going to give me five related keywords to the main keyword topic. So Notion AI for project management, how to use Notion AI for productivity. You can see that it's given some kind of tangential related long tail keywords that are probably gonna be easier to rank for. So that's just a really simple thing that you can add to any database. If you have Notion AI, you can just add one of these autofill properties and then give it a custom instruction. So you go to AI autofill, custom autofill, and here I just have generate five additional long tail keywords that are related to the main keyword. You could have 10, you could have as many as you want, you get the idea. So the next step for me is after I have a main keyword topic, so let's say Notion AI, and I have these ideas, I just want to double check Notion's AI brainstorm. And let's just take a look at, for example, this how to use Notion AI. I'm gonna do a search, so I already have this Notion AI search here, and I use a tool called Keywords Everywhere, which means that whenever I search for a term, or I start typing into the Google search bar, you can see there are these keyword statistics 
that are going to tell me the search volume per month, the cost per click, and the competitiveness of a given keyword. So there we go, how to use Notion AI, that's the one we were looking for. So volume is 590, so this is how I would do it, is I just search for that keyword, how to use Notion AI. We could even create a new topic called Notion AI, since that's probably a pretty big topic. Volume is 590, competitiveness is 3, not sure that I totally believe that, but let's just put it in there. And you can see that this gives me a nice Apple emoji because we have decent amount of volume and very low difficulty, which means that if we write a good article for it, then we should probably have a good chance of ranking. Now what I want to do is update this to refocus on this how to use Notion AI keyword how to integrate Notion AI into daily workflows, Notion AI tips for project management. Uh, so it's given some specific use cases for how to use Notion AI again. Now this could either encourage me to write new articles about these specific keywords. So we could say, I don't know, let's search again, Notion AI for project management. Okay, Notion AI project management, 40 minutes, it's going to be a Notion AI keyword, 40 volume, and the competitiveness was 20. So volume is quite low and competitiveness is higher. I'm going to stick with my how to use Notion AI keyword. But you can see that by going through this process, if you want a new batch of keywords, just click update and it's going to brainstorm some new ideas for you. But this is a really neat way if you can go back and forth between Notion, Notion AI, and then this Keywords Everywhere tool, you should be able to fill out your keywords list with some good opportunities quite quickly. So once I have my keyword that I would like to move forward with, the next step is just to head over to posts and create a new post in my database. Now I'm going to actually delete these since I was experimenting with it earlier before. It's going to show the idea that is in the idea status and the name I'm just going to do how to use Notion AI. Let's click into this and I'm actually going to use this article template in this content database. And it's going to prompt me for things like the article title, target keywords, content brief, and the article content. Now there's one more thing that I wanted to show you and you could actually build this and add yourself. Let's do it together. Um, the article titles are something that Notion AI might be able to help me with as well. So let's create an AI custom autofill. Help me generate a list of five SEO article titles related to the title of this page. Let's turn off this auto update, save the changes and try on this page. So maximize your productivity, Notion AI for beginners, how to get started, 10 tips. Okay, so Notion AI for beginners might be something that we look at. But again, I just wanted to show that you can quickly don't forget, you can quickly add these Notion AI properties to help you with any section of your content generation process. So let's just go with something like how to use Notion AI Ultimate Guide 2024. That can be the title, target keyword, how to use Notion AI. But we could also include some secondary keywords which are things that we might want the article to include at the bottom. So let's just head back to our search. And a good place to find secondary keywords is just go to this people also ask section, how to properly use Notion AI, can I use Notion AI for free? How do I get access? So let's add those. Can I use Notion better than chat GPT? Cool. So the reason that I'm filling all of this is because the information that's stored on this page is going to be used later when I ask Notion AI to generate my content article draft. So this content brief is also an important section. What I want to do is give very clear instructions that are going to later be referenced by Notion AI. Now, I personally don't like typing 
the whole brief into this um, AI search box in Notion AI. So instead you can just have a section that's called clearly called content brief on the page. And here you can even copy paste any SEO content brief that you've already written before. Um, and you can reuse that. You could even save that as the default for your database template whenever you create a new blog post. For now it's empty. So I'm just going to say write a full length article. Let's say SEO article on how to use Notion AI. Be sure the most out of it. Now, one more really important thing that you should probably include in your content brief is either a reference document or any additional information about the topic at hand, just to make sure that it really has the most up-to-date information. Now for Notion AI, fortunately Notion has its own guides on how to use Notion AI and what, <clears throat> what the features actually include. So if I find one of these beautifully written guides from Notion about Notion AI's writer and autofill features, I can just copy this. It has the information about autofill, text properties, multi-select, copy this, and I can say, here is some documentation from Notion themselves about key Notion AI features. Please reference this in your article. So you can write this brief just like you might write it to for an SEO writer that you've hired. And then you can just paste this background content. Now we have all the relevant information that we need. And then here, all I need to do is write a full length SEO article based on the brief content brief above. That's it. Send this request. And now Notion AI is going to go ahead and write this full article. So these are the things that I mentioned in the brief, brief how to get access, pricing information, key features, which it's referencing from the documentation that we used. And it's also included, there you go, these extra questions that we added for the secondary keywords. Is Notion AI better than ChatGPT? Can I use Notion AI for free? Great, let's accept these for now. And this is going to serve as a really good draft and starting point for our article. I can then go through this and add my own points. I can add some additional tips for how to get, how to make the most of it, for example, for SEO keyword generation. And once I have made my changes and updated this, this article is ready for publishing. After I have my main article content, what I do is I head over to this repurposing section of the content database. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click this edit button here, and you'll see there are four properties that have been pre-filled. Now I showed you how to create a custom AI autofill property before with the article titles. So that's all I've done here is I've done four specific instructions for every single content piece has this attached to it. And if I just click this add Instagram post, again, it's gonna take the content of the page. So it's all about Notion AI, how to use it. And it's gonna write it in the style that is suited to the relevant platform. So LinkedIn, I can write a post for LinkedIn like this, add a tweet. And I might even do a YouTube description which if I were right, if I were creating a video about how to use Notion AI, that would be serving as my YouTube description. So now that I have these four posts here, I might as well create new content pieces for each one. So let's just click in, let's add Instagram post. Let's add a tweet. Now all I need to do is just copy the content of this here. And I can paste it into the respective new post. Can give it a how to use Notion AI. Let's just copy that for each of the new posts that I've just created. How to use Notion AI, how to use Notion AI. 
And after I've copied across the content for each of those posts, I can also schedule them for respective dates here, or I can head over to my calendar. Right now, all of them I publish scheduled on the same day, but I might just spread these out to different days. And there you go, I already have, now I have four new posts that are ready for publishing across different channels. After I've published, I can track the views and stats in these different properties here. So for Instagram, maybe I check back in a week or a month and I don't know, 1500 views, two comments, a few likes, and all of these you should be able to see are going to update the stats here. So if I update, let's see how the YouTube video goes after a couple of weeks, I might check in. It has some views, comments, likes, and you can see that these stats are also updating here. And that's it. That's the process that I use for going through keyword research, using Notion AI to help me brainstorm related long tail keywords. Then again, using Notion AI to help me draft the article titles and the content itself using a content brief. Once I've written my article, I can then repurpose it for different channels, create unique posts for each of those so that I can track the views across each platform. Uh, and then I get these charts and breakdowns for my performance across channels for each post, all just related to that first single keyword. So again, my goal was just to share with you the system that I'm using to try and help me personally get a more consistent publishing schedule going. It can be hard to force yourself to start a new post from scratch. So I find that if you already have some keywords in the database, if you can quickly generate new related ideas, then that can kind of kickstart the process and get you publishing content more regularly, which is really the main uh, factor for seeing SEO growth. So hopefully you found that useful. Again, I'll leave a link to the content components uh, that was discussed in this video, as well as Business OS. I would highly recommend if you are running your business using Notion that you take a look at Business OS. It's filled with systems like this that are really designed to help you streamline all sorts of processes. So thanks for watching.